Hi guys, Paige Hudson here, and I wanted to take you on a little tour through the Grammar Stage Guide you've just received. All our Grammar Stage Guides operate pretty much the same way, so we'll be walking through the Biology Guide, but your Grammar Stage Guide will have the same thing. So let's take a look at what you'll have. You'll see your cover, and then after that, we'll have our copyright policy. It's perfectly fine for you to make copies to use within your immediate family if you need to do that. And then you will have uh, the table of contents where we'll list each one of the lessons. If you have an ebook, these links are actually clickable. So you can open up your ebook, scroll down to the table of contents, and then click on the particular lesson you would like. After that, you will find the introduction. And this has a lot of information about what is inside the book. So kind of a little bit of the story behind the guide and how we put together our grammar stage programs. A little bit about the student workbook. And then we'll also go through an explanation of the scientific demonstration. Now, scientific demonstrations are teacher-led and student-observed. So what you'll be doing this year is doing the experiments for your kids while they observe what you're doing. Of course, they can step in and help you out if they want, but the main goal is for you to kind of be the guiding force behind the experiment, explaining what's going on, and the information you'll need for that will be in your guide. And then it goes through and explains the lab reports you're gonna have your students do. Now, first through fourth graders aren't really writing huge reports for their labs, so it's very simple. Four sections, you'll have our tools, that's what they used, our method, and that's what they did, our outcome, that's what they saw, and our insight. And that's what they learned from the lab. So these answers can be simple one sentence answers in the beginning. You may need to write it for them if they're not capable of writing on their own and that's completely expected. And then the second section we have with the Grammar Stage program is science oriented books. So you'll have your scientific demonstration each week and then you'll have a science oriented book. So this will be one of the encyclopedias and that'll also give you additional library book options in this section of your weekly teacher plans and then notebooking. So we'll kind of detail and lay out the work that the students will do in the student workbook each week. And you'll go over the vocabulary. So this will describe how you handle the notebooking section or the writing portion of your science each week. And then we'll explain your uh, multi-week projects and activities. These are things that are going to last either throughout the unit or a couple of weeks during the unit that will deal with the overall theme of the unit, not just the week you're working on. And then memorization. Each unit we try to include a little simple, silly poem for your kids to memorize about the facts that you want them to take away and possible schedules. So we like to always provide you with a two day a week and a five day a week. Those schedules are independent. So if you wanna do two days one week and five days the next week, you can certainly do that. So each week you'll have schedules, each week you'll have a quiz uh, that goes along with it. Obviously we don't need to have grades and tests for first through fourth graders as we homeschool, but you can use these quizzes as like review sheets you can do them oral or written to give you an idea of what your students have learned. These quizzes are actually in the back of the student workbook, but you will have the answers for them on your planning sheet for the week. And then a little bit more about lap books and coloring pages that also go along. Lap books are great options if your kids find that the student workbook is too much white space and they like to do something a little bit smaller or a little bit more creative. And then coloring pages are great if you want to add in your younger students if they're like, mommy, mommy, please, can I have my own notebook? But they really aren't capable of doing a full-blown workbook or lap booking templates. They can use the coloring pages. And then you might want to check out these three articles. They describe a little bit more about the philosophy behind our program so you can understand a little bit more about classical science curriculum, a little bit more about scientific demonstrations, and a little bit more about notebooking. And then the last thing I want to point out with this introductory section is the link to the additional resources. So anytime you see a link in this guide, it is on this page right here. And then if people let us know about any errors or any additional things, uh, we will also put it on this resource page. So you definitely want to bookmark this one for later on as you go through. So you can easily click to the links for the projects in the program and then any other resources that we have will be on this page. 
And then just a little final thoughts. And if you have time, go ahead and sign up for our Yahoo group. That's where we uh, answer any questions. It gives you a chance to interact with some other users and then some useful files are there. And of course, if you have any questions, go ahead and email us at support at elementalscience.com. We will answer them as soon as we are able. So now that's the intro section, and then we have the required book list after that. And with our grammar stage programs, we actually have two options. So we have our younger option, which is like kindergarten through first or second grade. And then we have our older option, which is better for second or fourth grade. If you're unsure, the best way to choose whether you use the younger or the older option is to show your kids a sample and see which one they prefer. Both are good options. For this particular program, biology for the grammar stage was written originally with these younger options. And then we added in the older options. But ones like chemistry for the grammar stage were written with the older option and we added in the younger. So really either one is fine, both will work. And then we have the demonstration books. The reason why we do the demonstration books rather than actually writing the experiments throughout here is because these books are wonderful for you to have on your shelf later on. So we like to give you the option to use them now during the grammar stage years. And then we have additional books from your library. These are not uh, required in any way, shape, or form. These are just options for you to look at when you're looking for books to add to your week from the library if you want. So lots of options there for each week. We have one full list for you to make it a little bit easier if you wanna just take it all at one shot. And then we have your supplies needed. We've tried to make these as much as possible, things that you already have around the house, uh, newspaper, plain paper, black green construction paper. Uh, we do offer an experiment kit if you haven't already purchased that, that has a lot of the harder to find supplies. Obviously it doesn't include a raw egg, but it would include like a jar with lid and measuring tape. So we'll give you a full list of the supplies uh, so you can collect them all in one shot if you want, or you can collect it unit by unit. Or of course we offer the experiment kit as well. And then we're up to the actual uh, unit sheets, which concludes the tour of the intro of your grammar stage guide. In part two of this tutorial, we'll share a little bit more about what a week looks like and a quick look at the appendix.